All right, everybody, this is Nash here, and it's time to do the immediate reaction to the Wyoming game. First off, I want to say shout-out to the fans. It was an absolutely packed environment. Like, the, the stadium was, for especially for a Wyoming game, was packed. The, it was not just a sellout. Uh, people actually showed up, and it, was, it wasn't Bama loud, but it was loud. The stadium, it was loud. It was a great environment, great game. Uh, the light show absolutely fantastic I got a, a couple of videos on that my phone was I, I walked in with like 15% battery so I didn't get much video but I tried to get what I could and I will share that with y'all uh, tomorrow but yeah shout out to the fans great great appearance great way to show up wish the team wish the team showed up the same way uh, and that goes right into this at the end of the day, this loss, it was, not loss, this win, it was suboptimal, is a good word to, good way to put it. There were, there were issues that were multiple times showed up in the game. Uh, run defense, that was not there. Tackling didn't look great. Uh, there were times at coverage. Uh, uh, Ryan Watts had an amazing game versus Alabama. He wasn't having a great. I'm not. I'm not gonna say he had a bad game today, but he didn't have a great game. Uh. Yeah, it just letting when you when you're allowing guys to run up the middle on you. This defense. That just it, it feels like something wrong is happening, because at the end of the day, it sh that's that's not what it should be. Like guys like Tavondre Sweat should not be giving up runs. They shouldn't. Not not at all. No no way. No way, no how. Uh the passing game on the offense. Quinn didn't Quinn didn't turn over the ball, so there's that positive. But that's about where the positive ends when you're talking about the passing game. I ironically I don't think we threw a single deep ball, so you can't you can't complain there. Uh yeah, it just, it was not a good day, really. Like, there's not a lot of things that you can point to and go, yeah, baby, yeah. But if there's one, there's one thing that you can do. You can look and you say, Jonathan Brooks, that's our back. That's our lead back. I don't care how many stars Cedric Baxter got. I don't care. I don't care what what rate of recruit he came out of high school, and I'm not saying Cedric Baxter will look bad. Cedric Baxter, he didn't play today, obviously, and the times that we've seen him, he's actually looked all right. Like it, like he didn't, he hasn't looked bad. I'm not saying that at all. But Jonathan Brooks is the first time that we've seen something that we that I, that's made me think that can be our back. That can be our lead back. He can take a bulk amount of carries. And he can perform for us. I think he had uh, six carries, where he had eight rushing eight rushing yards or more on that carry. That's a good that's that's good that's a good percentage to have. That's over twenty five percent of your runs are going for eight yards or more. Five five is that mark that hey that's a good back five yards per carry is a good back. When you're getting consistently near the ten yard mark on the on some carries with like when we're talking about some carries, we're talking about like 25% of your carries are going around 10 yards. Yes. I'll take that every single day. Keep giving that guy the ball. So Jonathan Brooks was a massive positive in the day that, I mean, like when you're, when you're really searching for positives, that's one. Another positive is, uh, guys responding. This is something that you've seen consistently, and actually you see it really with the team and the box score. You look at fourth quarters. This team, they, they respond. They do. But that, that's a byproduct of a bad thing that happened. They're responding to a bad thing. A Jaron Thompson, that I, look, I love that interception. Pick six I had me fired up. I was, woo! I was in the stands, pumped my chest, woo! horns all that good stuff he had been burned multiple times before that he let up a 62 yard run 
and I say he, the defense, led up a 62-yard run, but but Jaron, he was running with the I, – I, I, as soon as I saw Jaron wasn't catching him, I was like, oh, this is done. He's not going to catch the guy. His, his speed is just a – he's a guy that's going to need to make up for his speed mentally. He's going to need to be a really cerebral football player that he can make up for his speed. It just it is what it is. I'm not calling it. I'm not trying to say that it, he was bad today, but I, I I mean he he had the pick, but outside of that pick, there there were a couple plays that hey, Jaron, that was awesome that we got that from you. But there was also a couple plays that man, dude, we just we need a little bit more. We need a little bit more from the coverage side. Uh. 25% on third down is not going to get the job done. I mean, you're if we keep if we keep on doing this, this is a dangerous game that we're playing. And we and you actually saw it happen almost tonight. If we keep on not converting third downs, it's going to get us. Somewhere it's going to get us. And I'll tell you right now, the most likely game, the most likely game that's going to happen in is Oklahoma. We need to be able to convert on third downs. We need to be able to control the time of possession. We got our butts whooped time possession wise. 38, almost 39 minutes to 21 minutes. Time of possession difference. Two thirds of the clock that they had compared to our one third. Uh, not turning over the ball, that's nice. The, the, the turnover margin, that's really what's what helped this game out so much. But. That's got it. Like it's just, it's got to get better. Uh, another positive: Xavier Worthy on the punt returns. He was actually looking nice today. Uh, he had a long of thirty-two. Four returns, average fourteen point eight. He looked nice on the punt returns. He's he's actually starting to really become a weapon back there. Uh, receiving it. Two receivers had more than one reception. Only 11 receptions on the day. It just, it, this is like, it's bad. It, these are bad numbers. Uh, now, there w- look, there was a, uh, there was a pass interference that should have been called. 100%. But I'm not going to sit here and blame it on that. I mean, like, blame the bad passing on that. I mean, you actually look at this. This is, this is a problem. I didn't even know this until... Right now, Jatavian Sanders didn't get a single target. Not not a single target. He got target. He got targets. He didn't. He didn't have a single reception. That's one of our biggest receiving threats, and he didn't have a single reception all day. I mean, like, look, they are a decent. They're they're a decent coverage team. That this is a Wyoming has a decent defense, but it's not that good. Or at least it shouldn't be. We need to start doing the things that we should be doing, which is handling these opponents. Uh, I, I like, look, I love the fact that the third, the fourth quarter, Steve Sarkeesian, like last, like if you ever had a gripe the last few years, it's been Steve Sarkeesian in the fourth quarter. <whistles> Balls off a clip. Well, <laughs> now everything's coming in the fourth quarter. In the last two weeks, in the last two weeks. We've had 42 points in the fourth quarter. That is... <laughs> 64% of our points in the fourth quarter. <laughs> and Steve Sarkeesian used to not score in the fourth quarter at all. It's completely backwards. Uh, it's it's mystifying almost. But, yeah, at the end of the day, uh, there's things to improve on. There's things that need to get better. If we don't... We're going to have losses somewhere in the season. It's going to happen. You cannot keep. You can't be converting third downs at a 30 percent rate. It's just not going. That's that's not optimal for success. Uh, Savior Worthy. He really. I mean, honestly, one of his. He had fifty six yards. This is how bad their day was receiving. Xavier Worthy had fifty six yards receiving. One of them was forty four yards. It just, it was, there was nothing today on offense. I, 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 I cannot, like, outside of Jonathan Brooks, and actually, if you subtract Jonathan Brooks, 
this is where like it, it gets like kind of scary with how bad the Texas offense was. You get rid of his uh what was it? What what was it? One one sixty four. You get rid of his one hundred sixty four yards. We're left off 152 yards of offense total. He was over half of our offensive production. It's got to get it's got to get better, got to get fixed. But at the end of the day, hey, a win is a win. I will take it. And shout out to you, Texas fans. Like like I said, hey, I've been a guy that's in the past. I've called out fans for leaving early. I've called out fans for whatever whatever reason, what whatever it is. Like UTSA last year, half the fan, half the stadium emptied out. That was not the case this time. Uh, now I'm not gonna say people didn't leave early, but it was nowhere near as empty as it was last last time. And really, fans stayed out, stayed stayed the entire way through, uh, especially the student section. But that was awesome to see today. Uh, great appearance from the fans. Fly over the the. The light show for the first time, it was all great. But just wish the football team just went out there and dominated, man. All right, well, yeah, lackluster night, but we move on. We turn the page. Just get these out of the way. Get these performances out of the way, and let's start performing like a top-level team. But problems there are to be fixed. All right, everybody, hope you all have a great day. And we got to just keep learning when... Hey, and I, you didn't think I was going to forget. Welcome, baby.